The inaugural Mr. Killer Songwriting Competition was conducted over four weeks in June, and his biggest authentic jab band competition was launched in St. George on Juve morning, Carnival Monday. There was overwhelming participation with more than 100 entries for the songwriting competition. Tevin Daniel, who is known in the music industry as Danger, walked away the winner. Well, to be honest, it's a big change and it's an overwhelming feeling. Feel very, uh, can't explain the feeling, but just a joy. And I just thank on to thank God for this opportunity and continue guiding me on this journey. Just want to say big up to um, Triple, that's just production, because this wouldn't have been possible. He took me in the studio when other producers neglected me because they didn't thought I was serious about the music and I just wanted to say thanks for everything. Tristan Charles, who is currently in Trinidad and Tobago, representing Grenada at Carafesta, placed second. Jonathan Liddell placed third. Well, I, I selected hip-hop as more so because I was kind of sheltered from jab culture growing up. So I'm already fond of or like familiar with soca and dancehall. Now that I know that my, my work is like appreciated or like it is good, like it's good. <laughs> I think I feel more motivated to, to work harder on it and perfect my craft and I'm trying to do my best and see where, see where I go. On Tuesday, the Real Jab Band was announced the winner of the biggest and most authentic jab band on Juve Morning. I mean, this is, you now we celebrate 15 years, this is long coming, you know, because it costs a lot for we to put a band on the road. And now we're trying to go see if we have coals instead of old oil. It costs a lot to do that. And we, we made the move even if we didn't know where the money was coming from. You know? So I just want to say thanks. And this money will go a long way. Mr. Killer said he's quite impressed with the number of jabs on the streets of St. George and said he believes Grenada should use this opportunity to market its jab culture. This year in Grenada Carnival, I think I saw more jab than I ever saw in my whole life. And people traveled from all over the world to take part in Grenada Carnival and get the opportunity to play jab. I just want to say that we should actually market, push, and support our culture in this time more than ever. We are standing in the spotlight. This is like a show about to happen and Grenada is next on stage. And we have the opportunity to put on the best presentation ever. Both competitions were backed by a number of sponsors who have pledged commitment on moving forward with Mr. Killer in 2020. Akisha Felix for GBN News.